Hello. How you doing? What's your name? What do you do? Where are you from? I'm Victoria. I'm from Staten Island, and I'm a full-time nanny. A nanny? While going to school. Not in my house. <laughs> it's time for Ask Wendy. Everybody have a seat except for the twins. Yes. Okay, come on over. How are you, How doing, you doing, Wendy? <laughs> I'm Jan. This is my sister, Joy. And obviously, we're twins. And she's happily married, and I'm single. Okay. But the thing is, every time we go out, she always gets asked out, and I don't. So I don't know what's going on, but what should we do next time this happens? Play the switcheroo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that? I mean, you, let me see. Yeah, you guys look alike enough yes. that yeah. you get the number. Right. T take the ring off. <laughs> like, you get the number, okay. pass it off to you, then you let your hair dry naturally. <laughs> Something. I mean, they, I mean, it's twins. Right. right. You can't, I mean, we never thought of that. We just never thought of that. Your breasts are the same size. <laughs> no, no, I'm trying to. I'm trying to check it. Like you might be. You'd be able to fool a guy. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. I, I don't. I don't know why that is. They look alike. You yeah, know. I don't know why that is either. I think it's because I'm more relaxed sometimes, and I'm not looking for anybody, and they're I'm more approachable. Maybe my energy. I'm a fun person. <laughs> <You're> fun. <laughs> What's with that? Yeah. <laughs> But you, maybe you're a little tense, you know. Perhaps. Maybe loosen up a little bit. Yeah. You get the number, I and then pass it off to her. All right. Very well. <laughs> Very well. One more quickie. How you doing? How you doing? Very well. Hey, Wendy. My name is JJ. I'm from Queens, New York. I have a question. Queens. Been, been married for about 15 years. Every time my husband takes me out on a date, he seems to compliment every other woman he sees. Their shoes, their clothes, nice haircut. I got a problem with that. Wait, does he compliment you? No, that's the problem. I mean, I think I'm fabulous. Yeah. How can I get him to focus back on me? I am his wife. Yeah, th this is nothing but a conversation. You mm. have the conversation. You let him know that you're hurt. But this is not like you don't have to start crying or anything. Uh, never but, that. but let him know that you're hurt, that you've observed that he compliments everybody else and never compliments you. And just because he compliments you doesn't give him the right to continue to compliment everyone else all the time. That's right. There's nothing wrong with a man that you're married to telling a woman, you know, nice shoes or nice haircut or anything, as long as he gives you the most compliments. That's right. Okay. Very well. Very well. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? <laughs> My name is Natasha, and I have a wonderful boyfriend who I love. I truly do. But he's 20 years my senior. Oh. But he has that, you know, older man swag that I really appreciate. Nothing he, wrong with old man. I, exactly. He's established. He has his own home. And he treats me really, really well. Okay. But the thing is that he's always scolding me like I'm his daughter. Mm -hmm. You know, telling me what to eat, how to drive, um, checking me about making my bed. How do I break him out this habit? <laughs> how long have you been with him? About a year and a half. Do you normally date older guys? Like, this, is, you, this is the first time. A year and a half. Mm -hmm. And you love him. I love him. You're going to have to deal with this. Oh I, mean, I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 it wouldn't be me being bossed around by some old man. But, but, if, but if, that, if that works for you, um, uh, he's 20 years older than you. So right. you have to understand that he has that, that paternal thing going on. Yeah, exactly. You could sit down and have a conversation with him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't call him daddy when you're having... Oh, oh no. Okay. <laughs> I draw the line. Yeah, no. you know, because you know a lot of chicks do. Right, right. Daddy. No, no. Um, have a talk with him and let him know that this is a real problem yes, for you. And is. that he's got to treat you like a woman and not like a daughter. And every time he does it, you need to bring it up until he breaks the habit. And hopefully by, you know, the first of the year, he would have broken the habit. I hope so, Wendy. Thank good you. luck. Good luck. Oh. Hey, How you doing? All right, so I recently found out that my sister-in-law and mother are planning a bridal bachelorette party for me. I'm getting married in two months. Congratulations. Thank you. There's one little issue, though. I feel really bad. My mom's helping plan it, but it's going to get a little raunchy later oh. on. How do I tell my mom, like, I really don't want her to be at that part of it? What should I do? The same way I don't need my parents seeing me use four-letter words and telling private part jokes out in Vegas. You tell them there's a time and a place for parents, and this is not the time or the place for you. So you can stay for an hour, but then you have to go. You put her in a car and send her on her way. There's no other way to say it. You know what I mean? Yeah. How you doing? Hello, Wendy. My name is Debbie. How you doing? Hi, Debbie. I dated my boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, for four and a half years, and he sucks his thumb. 
I first noticed Ew. that on our first date. And, you and went... he tried to hold my hand with that little slimy thumb. So I broke it off with him because I couldn't take it anymore. Gee, after now four years, he Debbie... wants me back. What should I do? <laughs> no, look, we all have problems. We all have, <laughs> we all have quirks and we all have ticks. A thumb-sucking grown man or woman is too much for me. That, that's some deep-rooted problem. Yes. Yes. No, Debbie, I'm sorry, darling. So he's out. He's out. All right. All right. Thank you, Candice. Hey, I'm Candice. How you doing? Hi, Candice. So I have four roommates, and one of them has a boyfriend, and they have sex on our sofa in the common room. And I'm disgusted, so should I approach her or just leave it alone? Get a boyfriend of your own. <laughs> no, you know what? You should approach her because, it, you know, when you're in college and you know they have that common room, yeah. they just need to be more sneaky about their sex. Uh, if I were them, I'd still do it, but I just wouldn't let you know. Okay. You know? All right, good luck, Candace, and don't start a fight. The semester just began. You're of stuck course. with her. Okay? <laughs> How you doing? Hi, Terry. I mean, hi, Wendy. I'm Terry. Who's Terry? Oh, oh that's you. Sorry. Aww. How, How you doing? It's okay. <laughs> Terry. <laughs> There's a guy at my job for the past six months. He's been trying to come on to me, and I'm, like, over it. Well, number one, because I'm in a relationship. Number two, because I don't mix business with pleasure. Okay. And um, recently, a colleague came to me and said, uh, the gentleman who has a crush on you has been spreading rumors that he's sleeping with you. And oh. So I'm, like, don't know what to do. What should I do? Should I tell my supervisor? My heart is racing right now yeah. because, you know, you're clearly a woman of a particular age. It's not like you're, this is not like some child who's 22 years old. Right. You tell him <laughs> and lead with your pinky, mm -hmm. say, not like this, like this. Mm -hmm. Lead with your pinky. Mm -hmm. You tell him that he better take your name out of his mouth. Right. And you know about this, this, the uh, rumors of spreading of sex. Mm -hmm. And the next place you're going to go is HR. Right. He's got 30 seconds to shut up. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Very welcome, I do not like that. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. How you doing? Very my name well. is Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. Okay. So my ex-boyfriend is now dating my sorority sister. So, yeah. So anyway, um, he told me to, um, to keep it on the down low, don't tell her to make her feel uncomfortable. I think it's like breaking a sisterhood to not tell her, but like, I don't want to go against him because I still kind of have feelings. What do you oh, think? Wait, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You still have feelings as in maybe one day you guys might get back together if by chance they break up? It just, the feelings never went away. Oh. You want to break them up? <laughs> Well, wait a minute, because I'm familiar with sororities, and just because you're in a sorority with somebody doesn't mean that your relationship is close with that particular person. Okay. Is your relationship close? Forget the sorority. Are you close no. with this girl? No. Uh, I'm, then I'm going to leave this up to you. If you want to tell her, fine. Then maybe they'll break up and you have a chance at him. Or maybe you just um, just leave it alone. Okay, Wendy. Okay. Thank you. You're very Thank welcome. You. How are you doing? Hi, Wendy. I'm C. Jin. How are you doing? Hi, C. Jin. <laughs> How can I help? Well, I'm great friends with a couple who've been in love uh, for about five years, mm -hmm. and they're swingers. Oh. And I was recently asked to have a threesome with them. <laughs> I don't know if that's such a great idea. What do you think I should do? I think threesomes are meant for vacation, and I've always said this. <laughs> Love it. And and that means that you meet a cute chambermaid. Yes. You give her a fake name. It happens one time, and then you fly back to wherever you live. Okay. I don't think threesomes are meant for friendships. Mm -hmm. I, I say that you tell them you're flattered that they think that you're hot. Yes. But no, you don't want to join them in the bedroom. And unfortunately, now that they've revealed this to you, if I were you, I'd be nervous about being with them singularly. You right. know, like like in the kitchen with the husband. <laughs> Or, you know, in the car with the wife. She might put her le hand in your left. You know what I mean? But, but we'll handle this the mature way, and this, uh, this can't happen. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. How are you doing? How are you doing, Wendy? I'm doing well, thank you. I like your outfit. Thank you. Glad to be here. From Toronto, Canada, we love you there. Thank, thank you.
Thank you. We love you, Wendy. Okay, by the way, we love you, but I also love my man. I've been in a monogamous relationship for about three years. And again, I'm monogamous. I'm a Leo. I don't like to cheat. Now, I gotta tell you, boys swarm around me like bees to honey, girl. Yes. Right? And yes. my girl doesn't like attraction and, you know, attention a little while. Oh, yes. Okay, so tell me this. Tell me this, Wendy. Tell me this. My boyfriend, he's a little bit jealous. How do I just prove to him that I would never cheat on him? Well, first of all, how does he know that men are flocking around you? What? Don't tell him. Mm, I know. You, you know what I mean? Like, like, I don't like to lie. Don't, well, you don't, you're not lying. Okay, you're just, just holding tell. something out of the story. <laughs> you know, I, I was out with my friends right. and all these guys were coming up to me. Leave that part out, number okay. one. And okay. number two, you've got to have a more mature, more firm delivery. I mean, Bubbles, you're cute and wonderful and bubbly. Honey, I'm 32. I know, but, but listen, listen. Tell me. When you want men to leave you the heck alone, mm -hmm. you need to be more boss than, okay. you know, than yes. bouncing and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, not like that. <laughs> like this. <laughs> I'm in, I mean, I mean get, the, get, I'm involved. You're, You're being disrespectful. You need to get more hard. <laughs> Welcome to New York. Thank you. All right, come on out. How can I help you? Okay, so my name is Katie, and how you doing? How you doing, Katie? <laughs> All right, my coworker finally found a guy that she really likes after being single for five years. Okay. Now, Thanks. we recently went to a bar, and she went to use the bathroom, and while she was gone, Here he... Here we go. Leaned over, touched my hair, and said I look really nice. Should I tell her, Wendy? No. No what? No what? No what? <clears throat> Here's the reason why. Okay. Because nothing can happen good from this. Yeah. She's not your friend. She's your coworker. So after she accuses you of okay. lying and hitting on him, okay. now the friendship is over and oh. the workplace is, you know, disgusting. Oh. What I would do if I were you is never want to be around him again. Mm, yes. And if you ever are, you need to read him lead with the pinky. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, don't, don't tell her though, okay? Thank you. Wendy. Thank you. <clears throat> Hi, Wendy. I'm Mariah. Hi, Mariah. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Good. Okay. Okay, so I'm a senior in high school. Which oh, uh, means I just went through the college process right now. Okay. 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 Only problem is me and my parents disagree about where I should go to school. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to go. You gotta know how to talk to these kids. <laughs> I want to go a little further away from home, something like a University of Maryland, and they want me to stay closer to home, like NYU. So Wendy, I have to make a decision in a month. Should I make my parents happy or follow my dreams? Follow your dreams. <laughs> follow your dreams. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Wendy, my name's Carmella. How you doing? Hi, Carmella. Hey. Okay, so my question is, I have a friend. We love to hang out. We love, love, love to hang out. But she has no job. And when she comes over, she stays for like two weeks. <laughs> I can't get her to leave, but she does cook and she does clean. So when I come home, everything is under control, but she's on the couch. Do you so have kids? I have a child who's seven. Okay, does she have kids? No. How long has she been unemployed? Forever. <laughs> no, but really, like three years, two years, a month? Um, she's never really had a job that I... Just different hustles. Okay, yeah. so what's your question? My question is, I mean, I really like hanging out with her, but it's hard for me to get her to leave. And I've, had it, I've kind of distanced myself from her, but I do still want to be her friend. I want her to come over, but I don't want her to stay as long as she has been staying. Does, he, does she have her own place to live? No. So she couch surfs? That's yes. what they call it. Yes. That's what she does? Um, I would have a conversation with her because you have a stable household. You're trying to raise a seven-year-old. You know, she's never been consistent, which says something about her and her work ethic. I don't care that she cleans. You don't want your best friend to be your maid, your housekeeper, your house manager. Um, have the conversation with her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? I'm sleeveless. You've got a coat on. <laughs> And you're not. And my name's Winter, so now you're a little colder. Hi, Winter. <laughs> Hi, Winter. Hi. So, okay, my boss uh, and her boyfriend, who I slept with like four years ago, um, <laughs> were looking for an apartment now, okay. and they drove by my building, and he kind of pointed out, oh, that's where Winter lived. And she looked at me and was like, oh, so we were looking for apartments. How does he know where you lived? Mm. Okay, okay. I don't know if I should tell her, because he clearly didn't. One night stand? No, no, like a couple of nights over some time. And Feelings involved? Eh, ish, ish. Okay. But, you know, I, nothing now. Okay. But I don't want to, I don't know what to do. Should I say something? Because she clearly wants to know. She suspects something, I think. Leave it up to him. 
Yeah. yeah. Leave, yeah. It, leave it up to him. Yeah. Don't you say one word. And this happened before she knew him. Okay. So yeah. you're not in the wrong. Okay. All right, Winter. All right, thank you. You're very welcome. Yes. yes. How you doing? How you doing? My Good. name is Ricky Wendy, and Hi, I need some help. Okay. All right, so I've been dating this guy for about nine months, and he's involved in the music, and he's, a lot, he's around a lot of women all the time. Although I don't think he's dating anyone else, because we spend a lot of time together. Mm -hmm. He takes me on trips, buy me gifts, you know, help me chase my what's dreams. What's he buy you? What's he he buy? bought me this nice necklace. Oh, oh, that's nice. And it has my name on it. I see. Do you like it? Yes. So it's really good to me, but every Where's time... Where does he take you? He took me to the Poconos for my birthday last week. Okay. And every time I ask him about being his girlfriend, he says that he doesn't want to rush things and he wants to do things at his pace. Mm. So is he hiding something from me? No, he's not, Ricky. How old are you, dear? Tw under 25? I'm yeah. Um, listen, Ricky, um, he doesn't want you for a girlfriend. Because after nine months, guys know what they want, just like women do as well. So he just wants you to be a little something, something, and that's it. I'm sorry, Ricky. <laughs> so now bad. you can either deal with that or step off. Right. But um, I'm telling you, you're not his, he doesn't want that. Am I correct? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you. But keep the necklace. Hi, Wendy. I'm Carly. How are you doing? Hi, Carly. Hi, so um, my sister, she comes to visit me almost every weekend. Big sister or little sister? Little sister. Okay. Love her to death. Uh -huh. She stays with me, but whenever she comes, she raises my wine cabinet. And she'll drink like three, four bottles of wine while she's there. <laughs> and on top of it, she doesn't clean up after herself. She even makes me serve her. But I love having her over. So what can I do to get her, like, clean her act up a little bit and maybe bring some bottles instead of <laughs> drinking them? Well, first of all, boxed wine, wine is cheaper <laughs> and still takes you where you need to go. Hello. So tell her to at least donate to the cause, and then you can get it, or she needs to bring some for herself. And as far as cleaning up, why don't you use paper cups? I mean, mm, what's, not as good to drink out of. What's for a wine glass if you have to wash it yourself? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Paper cups. All right. Uh, but to, she's your sister. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I tell her. She, you know. No. Well, she's you got to tell her. <laughs> tell her. Yeah. Thank you, Carly. Thank you. All right, we have time for another. How you doing, Wendy? How you doing? Wonderful, great. I'm Nanette, and recently mm -hmm. I received an invitation from a friend to attend her 50th birthday party. Great. Wonderful, except for oh. it said that I had to pay $20 to get into the event. Not great. <laughs> Not great, right. And my friend is a grown 50-year-old woman. Uh-huh. Tell me, if I pay to go to this party, do you think I should buy her a gift? No. Uh -huh. Furthermore, it's tacky for her to ask her guests to pay. She would have done better financially if you bought her a gift, because maybe you would spend like 50 bucks on a gift. Right. Yeah, no, that tacky to the highest of tactivity. Does she work? Does she have a career? Sure, she works with me in education. Okay, yeah, that, yeah no, that, don't yeah. get her a gift. Don't get her gift? Yes. <laughs> Should I even go? Should you go? Yes. Yeah, go. Yes. You know, because you want to find your $20. out. Yeah, pay your $20 okay. and go. Drink up all the liquor. Yeah. <laughs> We'll be right back.